Enrique again. This is a, a second tutorial. In the prior one, I showed you how you can create a video, for example, of yourself um, saying hi to your class, an introduction video. This second um, tutorial shows you how you can upload it on YouTube. I'm doing a screencasting. You remember in the prior tutorial, I told you to go in QuickTime and do new movie recording to record yourself. This time I did new screen recording, so I'm recording the video. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go in your YouTube channel, like I am doing. This is my personal channel. You want to click on this icon, and it will allow you to upload a video. So I'm going to go and choose Upload Video. And now you can basically go in here and drop any video you want in here. For example, I'm going to drop Enrica Introduction, the one I did earlier, Introduction of Myself. And in this spot is where you would want to put um, what the video is about for your student. I don't know if it's a lecture, you would want to give it a title. Here you can describe it. This is the introduction Oops. of Enrica Lovaglio Costello, for example. I'm going to keep it simple. Now you'll see that here you have a few settings. I encourage you to scroll through and make sure that you know you know what the settings are just for the sake of it like you could choose different a particular playlist that you're placing in it in and you want to select it here uh, but I tend to leave it oftentimes uh, alone I'm gonna say next oh sorry you have to specify that it's okay for kids I knew though I knew that was a setting that you needed to activate and here it tells you video element and all is good again you could just you know leave it to default here we'll tell you, you want to publish it now here's very important because you can say public and it means anybody can see it or you could say private right here and in that case it will allow you to actually later on if i choose private i'm not going to do it right now but if i chose private you'll see that you can actually select a password in which um, the only people that can see it are the people that have that password right here and again make sure you you read everything and then you want to say publish and you'll see that it will take a little while you see that it there's a scrolling thing and there's only a three minutes video uh, so this will should take like five minutes to upload or less if you have a very long video it's going to take longer you might want to go get a cup of tea um, but that's kind of pretty much what I'll show you in a minute as soon as it's done um, what eventually you need to copy you'll see that it will provide for you a, a URL a, a, a little URL that you can basically email to your students and say this is a video of my introduction or you can post it on Gaucho Space under the week that you're teaching that particular lecture and the student at their own time can go and watch it. And the reason I say it's important to do it in their own time is because if instead you did it in a way that the student had to access that video on uh, Gaucho Space all at the same time, it could create a bottleneck in their household. If they have, let's say, four or five roommates and they're all online at the same time trying to get videos or access video or on a Zoom, Zoom takes a lot of bandwidth. Um, so there could be a possibility that the student would not be able to all be online at the same time and miss the opportunity to attend your lecture or even even worse to turn in their homework and on time so I sent out via email to all of you a list of things that could be done to avoid those bottlenecks and and I know myself I've been experiences this morning I was in this in a situation that I couldn't do a zoom call because my son was on a, a zoom class um, meeting so it was it was frustrating I would say um, so now we can the video processing as I said it can take some time let me see if I can go in my it's actually still processing unfortunately so it takes time right here if I click on it it's still processing you see it said processing video but what I wanted to show you was that right here this is the link that you would be able to send to your students 
and tell them this is where is my introduction or this is where my lecture is located. So that's what you ultimately want is to find that link, go under your videos and find your link and uh, that will really help. Now remember in YouTube everything is here so you can say your channel uh, and if you go in your channel you'll see all your videos so, so it's, it's very uh, friendly. Um, it's like here if I go under channel videos back here I see all my videos you can see that right uh, I teach 3d modeling there are some of the student 3d models and then there is tutorials that I prepare for them uh, all the time I'm, I'm a faculty in technology in uh, Cal Poly so um, anyway hopefully I can help you I don't know all the software in the world but I'm, I'm ready to learn it I'm ready to do anything to make sure you can uh, um, teach your classes as at uh, your best. Thank you.